This lecture now is a diastolic function of the left ventricle as analyzed by Doppler. The isovolumic relaxation time and the mitral flow. Isovolumic relaxation time IVRT is the period from the aortic valve closing to the opening of the mitral valve. The time it takes is related to left ventricular relaxation. The slower the left ventricular relaxation, the longer this period. This period can be easily measured by Doppler when we set the pulse wave sample volume in an intermediate region between the left ventricular outflow tract and the mitral valve opening. So we get simultaneously two flow, the one from the left ventricular flow tract and the other from the mitral flow. When we get these two flow simultaneously, we can measure the IVRT as can be seen in this example. Here, the left ventricular outflow tract flow that finished precisely at this point and here the mitral flow that starts at this point, often with an opening click. Then, we can evaluate the isovolumic relaxation time from the closing of the aortic valve until the opening of the mitral valve. In normal conditions, it usually is between 60 to 110 milliseconds. With abnormal left ventricular relaxation, this time increase, and when the compliance is abnormal, this time decrease. The main problem with the IVRT is that it is too dependent on the aortic arterial and the left atrial pressure. We are interested in the velocity of relaxation and IVRT necessarily does not give us this information. Notice that this time can increase if the blood pressure is higher and the aortic valve will close in here, for instance. In this case, although the patient had the same isovolumetric velocity, which we are interested, the time will be prolonged since the distance to move down is longer. However, it is also dependent on the atrial pressure. When the patient is worse, the left atrial pressure is higher and the mitral valve will open about this level. Although the isovolumic velocity of relaxation of the patient is the same. As the patient gets worse, the isovolumic relaxation time will decrease since the distance from the aortic closure to mitral opening will be less. What happens then is in a patient who has a progressive worsening of its diastolic function from normal to abnormal relaxation and then to also abnormal compliance, the isovolumic relaxation time will show an inverted U-shaped wave from a normal isovolumic relaxation time. This time will increase with delayed relaxation and then will decrease as the situation gets worse, now with poor compliance. It will be hard to know if the isovolumic relaxation time is in the going up or in the coming down this low. This is a problem with isovolumic relaxation time and with most measurements to evaluate the diastolic function.